Hey everybody, welcome to Manifest Your Ex Back. Now this is not one of those typical videos where you're just gonna sit at your house and just hope and hope and hope that your ex is gonna come back to you because I'm sure you've been doing that enough. Stay tuned till the end and I'm gonna give you some actual, physical, real tips that can bring your ex back to you or better. Here's the show reel. <music> So obviously you've been through a recent breakup and you're really, really heartbroken. You want your ex back. You're like, what can I do to bring him or her back into my life? Here's one thing that you can do really, really actively right now that's going to help you in multiple ways. Number one, write down a list of all the things you loved about this person. What made them great? How did they treat you? Did they treat you like a king or a queen like you deserved? How did they touch you? How did they talk to you? How vibrant were they? Or how did they help you in your life, right? What traits did they carry that made them so amazing that you want them back in your life? So once you've got that list, you can even pause that video and do it right now. Once you've got that list, here's step two. First, let that person know all the ways that you appreciate them. And that can be scary, right? Sometimes we don't want to be vulnerable and tell people what we think of them and how much we appreciate them. But do it in a really strong way, right? So when you reach out in a letter or in a phone call, if text, if you have to, say, hey, I've been thinking about you. And one thing I didn't tell you is how much I appreciated that you how much I appreciate that you made me laugh all the time. I realized how well you treated me. For example, the time you took me out to dinner and I never said thank you. That you checked in with me via text and I miss that, right? So whatever it is, give them a few little indicators of how much you appreciate them, okay? So this will grab their attention a little bit. The next thing that you can do with that list is also in your actual manifestation. What if this ex was just your starter ex? Like, you know how people have starter marriages? What if this relationship was kind of like a starter to help you know what you love and what you like and what you don't like in relationships? And so what if what this was meant for you to do was to actually say, I like all of these things but also here's what that ex didn't have. Here's what else I want in my relationship. And now start opening your eyes to what else is out there that has all of these things that your ex didn't have. Because guess what? If somebody's always wanting you and always after you and they're trying to get you back and they're trying to get you to date them, does that make you very attractive? Not always, right? But what if you're telling your ex like, hey, thanks, I really appreciate this of you. And you're looking out at, you know what? There are other people that do that and these things. In fact, I can have better than I had with my ex. So not only have you shifted your manifestation energy, you're letting go with ease. And that person will feel when you let go energetically. They'll know you're no longer attached. And that might get them a little bit intrigued in you again. It might get them running back. And you're also putting your sights up and telling the universe, I want better. Thanks for that other person. Thanks for my ex. I learned a lot about what I want, but I also want these things. So now you're bringing in your own strength, your own power, the power of manifestation, the power of the universe. And maybe that will bring your ex back to you because maybe that is meant to be. And I know that you're attached and that you're heartbroken and that feels really desirable right now. But imagine this, you have all the traits of your ex and better. You get treated better with more respect, with more kindness. This, per this new person helps you grow. They're better intimately, perhaps. Wouldn't that be great to have everything your ex had and more? And it's possible. So open yourself up energetically write down that list you can start sending some things to your ex about how you appreciate them but make it strong stand in your power you're not begging for them back 
right? Maybe you have to throw out an apology. Maybe you have to do out some of those. Do that if that's necessary as well. If you did something wrong, own up to it and tell the universe, I am ready for my next relationship. I have grown. Here's how I've changed. And here I'm open for my next level of relationship. If you found any value, please like, tell me below. What do you also want in your next partner? Manifest it below, right in the comments. What do you want in your next partner? What would make you so happy, so joyful? Watch my other videos. I'm gonna have videos up on intimacy, on finding new partners, on how to manifest more clearly. And just remember, above all, you are love, you are loving, and you are lovable. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.